Bewilderment is one of my favorite words. Not just because it is indicative of the times that we live in around the world, but also because it is true of the experiences of so many people who live in bewilderment. Here in this uh, quiet cul-de-sac in Burstall on the edge of Leicester, it can be easy to forget that our world is in turmoil, torn apart by war. We've endured more than two years of pandemic. And for many people, there has been real suffering during this period. There is then that feeling of being bewildered, wondering what does all this mean? Which makes us wonder, what does it mean to live with hope in these bewildering times? And hope, of course, is not just some uh, good feeling about the future, some positive optimism. Hope for Christians is embodied. It is made real, enfleshed in the life and death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And hope is embodied too in the people who follow Jesus Christ, those he left behind here on earth to continue his work of building the kingdom. When that is true, everything changes. I love what Bishop Tom Wright has to say, that this everyday life and adventure done in the name of Christ, he says, by the power of his spirit, is an earthly event in the long history of things that implement Jesus' own resurrection and anticipate the final new creation and the acts as signposts of hope. I also like what Emmanuel Kotengole has to say about this writing from the backdrop of bewilderment of genocide in Rwanda, encouraging us to beginning to imagine the church as a resurrected and strange communion of witnesses drawn from all tribes, nations and languages. So wherever you are this Easter, may you know the peace and the hope of the resurrected Lord Jesus Christ. And may God's blessing be with you and all those you love.